teams stand by to compete. Power up. And Lightstorm 2 from lane 2, a new world record 1.037. Absolutely shot away from the rest of the field. Lightstorm the fastest, 1.037. A world record leading the field. So Lightstorm 2, actually the fastest rocket yes. car there of them yeah. all. Yes. Um, and has a new world record. But just how fast were those cars going? Give us an idea. Well, the fastest one reached a maximum speed of 153.4 miles an hour, over, over 35 metres. No wonder I couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to them and they said, uh, we must get the mass down. So we got the mass down as low as we possibly could go. In fact, they've got it so low that it's almost not a rocket car at all. It's almost just a motor with little wheels on it. But to get the mass as that low is that's how they've managed to get that very high speed. Thanks, guys. In lane one is Lightstorm from Hornchurch in Essex, won the heat in 1.03 seconds. Team Hearts have gone through a process of evolution, developing four cars. Silver medalists last year, but now they're back with this, Lightstorm 2. They've gone for miniaturization. They're using a micro A-rated motor that weighs in only 14 grams, but the car only weighs seven grams. Talk about power to weight ratio. If the ignition works, this thing's gonna go like stink. Blink, and you'll miss it. Stand by to compete. Lightstorm 2, Turbo Flame, Rapid Rickshaw, Catalyst. And it's Lightstorm 2 from lane 1 and Rapid Rickshaw from lane 3, the two qualifiers. The time 1.48 from Lightstorm. As Simon said, if you blinked, you missed it. Look at the gap with Rapid Rickshaw finishing second and then Turbo Flame third. Power up. Lightstorm, but only just from Mac 0.26. The best race was in the final. The winning time 1.924. It was very, very close. Victory to the favourites, Lightstorm 2 by three hundredths of a second from Mac 0.26, with Doggy Fast Tracks taking the bronze. So Laurie, Peter, and Robert, congratulations. And Thanks. welcome. You are new world record holders. How does that feel? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're pleased. Because you took only four hours to build your award-winning robot, but mm. three months to design it. That's How come right. it took so long, Laurie? Well, we went through a series of uh, stages with the rocket design, from last year's silver medal car through to light lightweight designs, more and more lightweight all the time. And also, um, I found that by using lighter engines, um, they'd run the distance required, but because they're lighter engines, they're less propellant in them, the car runs faster. So we ended up to that little thing that Noel's holding. How are you going to celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. How are we going to celebrate? It's the most important of all of the questions I've asked you. Have you worked out yet? Well, well, what, what, are you <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> tonight? <laughs> you'll, you'll have a rocket in your pocket. <laughs> Thanks, Some Noel. <laughs> Someone had to say. <laughs> Thank you very much. Today, when the rocket car champions proved that when it comes to robot evolution, persistence pays off. After two silver medals in two successive years, Lightstorm, having already set a new world record of 1.03 seconds, finally took that elusive goal. See you tomorrow, and I'd just like to assure viewers that no robots were harmed during the filming of this programme. Good night from the Techno Games.